Welcome to an overview of the Desmos Geometry Tool. In this video, we'll take a quick look at the point, segment, and circle tools, as well as a few helpful features in the interface. When you begin, you'll see a blank canvas with the Selection Tool active. Let's switch to the Point Tool and define a pair of arbitrary points. If I switch back to the Selection Tool, I can then drag these points around the canvas. That's not very exciting, so let's grab the Segment Tool and define a segment between these two points. You can also build a segment from scratch by simply defining its endpoints. The Line tool allows you to construct several related objects – segments, lines, rays, or vectors. I'll stick with Segment and do my best to draw an equilateral triangle. On the surface, my triangle appears as if it might have three congruent sides. By dragging the vertices, I can easily put that to the test. As it turns out, while the triangle appeared to be equilateral, it wasn't constructed or defined in that way. And that provides a nice segue to our circle tool. To construct a circle, define the center and radius by placing two points. Let's use these same two points to define a second circle with the same radius. I'll use the segment tool to highlight the shared radius, and then construct two more segments that extend from the center of each circle to another point on that circle. Now when I drag the vertices, we see the beauty and strength of our construction. This doesn't just appear equilateral. By construction, it is. Let's wrap things up by taking a quick look at some interface features. First, we offer the same undo-redo functionality in the geometry tool as we do in our graphing calculator. Make a mistake? Just go back in time. Reverse too far? You can always move forward until you hit just the right spot. Next. Some of your work may include objects that were essential for construction, but no longer need to be visible. When that's the case, select the desired objects by clicking, multi-clicking, or dragging the selection rectangle, and then press hide near the top right. Alternatively, if you want to flat out delete something, you can do that as well. Delete with caution though, as this will also remove any objects that depend on what you've deleted. Looking to clear everything and start from scratch? Click the canvas to let go of your current selection, and then press Reset near the top right. It's worth pointing out that Undo Redo also works across a canvas reset. In the next video, we'll take a look at our predefined construction tools, including Midpoint, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines, and Compass. You can find that video and more geometry support resources at learn.desmos.com geometry.